Hey, what's up guys? Today we're in LA at the original farmer's market. This market here opened back in the 1930s. So this is like the oldest farmer's market around. Yeah, and some of the vendors are multi-generational. So yeah, so it's interesting. Yeah, and the, you know, and unlike a regular farmer's market, these stores here stay open like seven days a week. So they don't close down, they just open up every week or anything like that. It stays here permanently. So let's go ahead and check it out. Right here is the uh, farmer's market clock tower it's been here for like generations it's like it's like one of the most iconic thing in here i think they moved it though so it's not the original place but it's still the original tower. wow they moved it uh, here is the some old gas station thing <laughs> is this like a, just an attraction or is this a shop or something this is probably just an attraction see it's like still got 13 cents a gallon dude <laughs> dang how old is this Oil, what oil? oil. Uh, lion's head. I thought it was soup. <laughs> but it says water oil. <laughs> oh, take it. Let's see how it tastes. <laughs> All right, like any other farmers market, there are a lot of, you know, fruits and vegetables that they sell from their farm. What's this? It's like oh, peanuts and, and wow, it smells so good. Nuts and stuff. <laughs> so good. Wow, look at all that stuff, man. Looks good. It's actually not that cheap <laughs> compared to like an Asian market. But it's but, better quality. But yeah, the quality for sure is going to be better. Looks super nice too. This place, is actually, this place is actually pretty big. There are so many different vendors and booths around here. It's like, oh my god. It smells so good here. <laughs> it's like, it smells so good. You, you go past the fruit stands, the fruit smells so good. You go past the popcorn stands. Smells so good. I know. It's hard not to buy anything right now. What is this? It's a Kips Toyland. The dog. Terminator dude. Or like Brendan Fraser in Doom Patrol. Dang. There are so many places to eat here. Like I don't know which one to choose. Like choose what? Choose like like choose a country. Everything's here. I know. Everything's here. Even Chinese food. Oh, what is that water? Probably. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Has like a lantern. They got some. They got some fresh meat right here. Probably straight from the farm. A dog right there wants some meat, man. All the meats look so good. Yeah, yeah it looks so good. And more seafood stuff. They got crab. Ooh, dang, that's so nice. A cargo. They actually have like fresh caviar. Wow. 10 ounce for $48. 10 ounce for $48. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Price. <laughs> That's crazy price. Wow. <laughs> Looks so good. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? It does look good, but what is it? <laughs> Pastries. What type of pastry? This, uh, I, I like this one. It looks really good. I bet you like chocolate. I love chocolate, so. <laughs> okay, since there are so many options here and it's so hard to resist, not to buy it. everything. We're just gonna limit ourselves to three items. I'll pick one, this guy will pick one, and the third one, whatever, whatever you feel like it. They got Singapore food here too. What? That's crazy. Oh, look at that. Singapore, Malay, Indonesian, India. What? <laughs> Super Let's just see what they got, man. I might want it, dude. Who knows? <laughs> huh? Oh, <laughs> you like that? Nice. This is Magda's favorite pastries. I said it's your favorite, so deal with it. <laughs> so I want to choose this Brazilian uh, barbecue place. It looks delicious. And I last a lot of meat and I love it. So <laughs> let's try it out. <laughs> so I got the uh, Caesar salad, uh, two cheese bread, and uh, see, I got the top sirloin. I got the beef something. And I got the, the lamb lamb legs, so let's go ahead and try it out, man. Look at this! Oh my goodness! Want to do it? Whoa, whoa. Very juicy. Very good. Delicious. I love my meat, man. <laughs> <laughs> my favorite here at a Brazilian barbecue is the cheese bread. At this place, it's actually like 85 cents extra per. So that tells you how special it is. It's so chewy, it's so good. If you never tried it, you have to. Oh, look. oh I love this. 
your caramel favorite. apple. Oh my god, it looks so good. I don't know what your fascination is with caramel apple. To me, it sucks. I will never eat it. <laughs> we got no taste. This thing is so good, man. Dang. Crocodile, look at this. Crocodile with chocolate? What <laughs> the? <laughs> That's cool. Dude. Crazy. For a dollar, a pound for the, the, the almond bark. Wow. For a pound. I know. Oh, it's still expensive. Huh? <laughs> These are green crocodiles. Is that like there too? Is it? Is that their brand? That's cool, huh? They have a crocodile theme here. Wow, <laughs> oh, look at this delicious, delicious looking ice cream place. My God. It's also good here. Oh, Bob's Donut. Yeah, every every time you see an article of what to do in farmer's market, what, what to get in farmer's market, this would be like number one pick. I don't know where. Yep. So, we'll give it a shot. So, what are you going to get? I'm just going to get coffee because, you know, coffee. I'm going to get donut. Co coffee or donut, right? Mm. Hey, got our donut. Let's go find a seat. Let's go. So, I got my hot coffee. And don't judge me. I like to drink coffee after lunch, not before lunch. That's just my style. I'll judge you. It's still too hot to drink, so <laughs> just let it, let it cool up a bit. Okay, so we got two donuts. Glazed donut. And the other one is not my pick, okay? This is not my pick. It's my pick. <laughs> this is probably the most expensive donut in today's trip, but oh my god, I can't even hold it with my hand. <laughs> Look how big that is. To my, next to my face. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how the size difference between those two. Okay, so split it. What? Split it. I get the big one, you get the small one. I'll eat it. Oh. I don't know why. I always end up taking a very big bite. I mean, they don't lie. Go to Bob's Donut when you come here. They don't like mm. Still too hot. Don't want to burn my esophagus. <laughs> it's Marsh Village. They sell like kind of pizza looking thing. Man, if I didn't, if I'm not full yet, I would get it. <laughs> it's like bread. Here's the path. It's like all out patio dining. <laughs> I know. It's, yeah, here's the Danny Trio. Action movie, movie action star. <laughs> but I, I didn't I didn't know he had his own taco place. That's funny. Ah, this must be a Chinese place. They, but they only sell tea here. So cool. All side of tea. Oh, they have boba too. <laughs> <laughs> of course man. Tea gotta have boba man. So pots and everything. <laughs> It's getting a little busy now, huh? Because like, it's like a lunch time now. People yeah. are eating. Yeah, they open at 10. So we come here like at around 11 or something. So it wasn't that busy yet because it wasn't lunch time. Uh -huh. And on Saturdays, people eat lunch later. Because they're staying late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check this out. Magic Nut and Candy Company. Oh. Delicious, oh man. Red vine. I love it. I love it. I hate the, the black one. Black one's so bad. I hate it so much. <laughs> I can eat so that. Weird. I can eat that like, all day, every day. It's just so addictive. I don't know. Like some people hate it. Really hate it. I love it too. Like <laughs> <laughs> the sour gumball. Ooh. Dang, fourteen dollars per pound. <laughs> Crazy. Check out this Grandpa Angel. Woo, the the tra travel angel. The travel angel. Dude, this guy. He's traveling style, man. Look at this. He has uh, the map of the world on his wings. <laughs> Pretty funny. All right, guys. So that was it. That was our little adventure here down at the uh, farmer's market. Well, the original farmer market where everything started. So, you know, we tried a couple of their you know, cuisines and stuff. Pretty good, honestly. There's nice. so many, so many different cuisines. Like name, name a country. It's most, most likely here. Yeah, I think is there's so many shops here or so many like vendors here. It's like you just walk around the whole day here, honestly. And it's very historic because like some of the vendors, they've been here for generations after generations. So it's like, I don't know, there's just something about seeing a business that's been standing for years like that that just kind of puts me in awe. So if you come here, 
like your first 15 minutes will cost you three dollars and then another 15 minutes after that is a dollar so fun trick that you can do is get your parking ticket bring it with you and then get one to the vendor to validate it and then you get 90 minutes for free all right guys thanks for watching peace out